You could curl these wigs. Make sure you have your curling implement at the correct temperature, which our special guest will give you all those details. The They're all $109. They're all the same price. They're all on four flex pay of $27.25 to get home. So we have models in the studio. I'm putting them on. Um, Gabor wigs since the 1950s have been a leader in wigs. And why do they look so amazing and so natural? Because it's not just one block of color. It is many, many different colors. The texture is incredible. They're lightweight and airy, so they're not hot. You don't overheat. In the box, you get a little stocking cap that you put on over your head, and then you put your wig on top. There's these two little tabs right here that you can feel that your wig is centered, but it is so freeing to pop on a wig and look your best. Don't worry about your roots coming in with gray. Don't worry about getting a haircut every two weeks to make sure you keep that style. Let's bring in our special guest, celebrity hairstylist and salon owner, Martino Cartier, who has brought us so many amazing products, including Forever Your Curl, which I know is sold out, but I want to mention that. I want to mention that again. Can't wait for it to come back in stock uh, because it's perfect to use with, with the Gabor wigs. But uh, I, we're going to jump right in. And Martino, I am going to attempt to put on every wig in the show. I'm going to attempt wow. that. Wow. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Thanks for having me on the show with you, Beauty Report. It's an honor to be here. And I have to tell you, this is 52 years of innovation. Uh, my girlfriend next to me, she has on discretion as well. And before we're done with this uh, discretion, I will take it off and show you how long her hair is. So many of you since yesterday when I was on with Helen are asking me, can I wear a wig over top of long hair? The answer is yes. Uh, as far as curling it, you just need to make sure that it's not higher than 350 degrees. I use Forever Your Curl. Funny you mentioned it. Let's put a little bit of volume on the side. She'll turn her head to the left for me, and you're going to see she's got a little bit of curl, a little bit of volume. That was done with Forever Your Curl. So this wig is a custom fiber from Gabor, which is called XL. So whether you're in the rain or humidity, it cannot frizz. There's no cuticle, no cuticle. So you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and we're showing you all the different color choices. So, uh, you know, this this is this is how the quality really really grabbed me with Gabor wigs. Is the each one of these colors, and I'm going to show you live in the studio as well, really has a depth and it has also multiple colors. So if you went to your stylist and said, "Okay, I want you to cover the gray, and then I want you to do baby lights, and then I want you to do it face framing, and then I want you to do this and this," you would would spend twice the money just getting your hair colored forget about the cut this is so cost effective and maybe you want to try a new color maybe you're a blonde and you want to try dark hair maybe you have dark hair and you want to try red hair red hair is one of the hardest colors to keep I had red hair for a couple years it was very expensive because it kept washing out so let me just start out here with the gray this is a hot, hot color. This color has been selling out. As a matter of fact, I'm not even sure we have it. Jared, do we have gray, the light gray with the discretion? Because I know that this color, okay, we do have it in this style. So the light gray, this is the color that everybody's seeing on Instagram, going to their stylist and saying, can you do this color? It's damaging to lighten your hair like this, and uh, but you can have this color. Try it on with, with a Gabor wig. So then our next color is called dark blonde. Uh, I mean, sorry, dark gray. This is brown gray. So light gray, brown gray. And then next to it is light red, which is the color that I'm wearing. This is the color I have on right now. Then auburn red. And then next to that is dark brown. Here is the dark brown. And then we have it it, then we've got it in black. And actually, I think that these are, I think this is black actually. And then this is dark brown. And you can see they're very, very similar, but the dark brown has a little bit more lightness to it. Then when we go to the top, we have medium brown, and medium brown is kind of like a chestnut. It has a little bit of auburn highlights in it. So you can see the auburn highlights in the chestnut, rich, deep color, this is a gorgeous color. And then next to that is light brown. Light brown has kind of like ashy tones to it. So this is more like the reds. This is a little bit more ashy with the brown. And then the next one kind of taking that ashiness one step further with the brown 
brown blonde. This is a very popular color. So if you have brown hair and you get blonde highlights, this is a great choice for you. Then we have dark blonde. So dark blonde, you really are in the blonde family. I have light, medium, and dark blonde. This is the dark blonde. This is the medium blonde. Medium blonde is more golden and light blonde is more ashy and cooler tone. So this is a cooler tone in the light blonde and then the medium is more of the warm tones. So these are the colors and I, I will tell you that some of these colors are like the red is very expensive to keep in. It washes, washes out, hard to keep it. This color is like a very cool, cool, very Instagrammable. Everybody loves it. I'm going to be putting this color on. And I know we've got our models out here in the studio. I see Francine uh, ready to go. And I, I, I really love her in this style, Martino. She looks amazing. And just like Gianna, Francine, that both girls have their hair tucked behind their ear. And that talks to the quality of, of this wig, because if you have a wig that's not high quality, you can't tuck it without seeing the construction. And that's what makes these wigs so natural, so flirtatious, and just giving you this incredible volume. Again, you can see Gianna's hair tucked right behind her here. She's a natural blonde, and you can't see the difference. It's got a sexy side swept bang, this is a really fun wig. You can cut it. When you get it home, you literally just shake it out of the box, put it on. There's two tabs right here. If your fingers are even when you put your fingers on the tab, you know that it's straight. You get a free wig cap inside. So when I take this wig off, when we have like a minute left, if you let me know, I'll take this off and you'll see that cap. And then I'll pull the cap off and only two bobby pins pinned up all that long hair because they're adjustable. When you get the wig home in the back, there's two little peel and stick tabs. The wider they go, the bigger the wig. The closer they go to the tags, the smaller the wig. And somebody had mentioned about um, uh, maintenance. To wash it is so simple. A little bit of shampoo in the kitchen sink, soak it for five to 10 minutes, rinse it, let it air dry. It'll go right back to looking like this foxy young lady right now. She looks so happy in her wig. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see the before and after. And maybe you've got longer hair. Maybe you're thinking, I want to get a shorter haircut. That's a commitment. And I know, like, your girlfriend's got really long hair, like G Gianna does. And you you cut it. You're like, you know what? I'm not sure if it's for me. Guess what? Seven years later, you got your long hair again. So, right? So true. Yeah? Yeah. So it's a perfect way to try a new color, a new style, or just to say, you know what, I've got a Zoom call, but I was, you know, taking the kids here. I just want to look professional, yes. pull together, pop it on. I'm going to give you, it's late at night. It's 11 p.m. I'm going to give you some, I'm going to dish about the other hosts here. We've got 24 hosts, 23 hosts, and then there's three men. There's Guy, Ty, and Adam. The rest are women. Of those women, seven of them wear wigs on air all the time. I'm not going to tell you which seven. You can't tell either because it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that a lot of us do. I will say that I have done hair pieces and things like that for the 40 years I've worked on television all the time. I have very fine hair. That's another thing. If you've got fine thinning hair, a wig brings back that youth. You never have a bad hair day. We're here in Florida. That's where we, where we're live. We're live here in Florida. It, Martino, I call it the bad hair state because it is so humid, <laughs> right? It is so, so humid. humid here. It's impossible to, to curl your hair and keep a, a good style. Oh, and that's the thing. So with the Excel fiber that this wig is made of, there's nothing that can wreck your style. So no humidity, because there's no cuticle, no wind, no rain, I'm in New Jersey, no snow, it doesn't matter. The only thing that can change the volume or the texture or the curl or how straight it is, is heat at 350 degrees. Wrap your head around that. Imagine you could curl your hair once and never curl it again for the rest of your life unless you put heat on it. That <laughs> means you can go outside, right. get caught in the rain, let it air dry and have your perfect style. That's what you're getting with this essential collection. Yeah, absolutely. And within each one of these styles too, you can shape it and do it a little different. You see Francine and I are wearing the same wig. It, it's just, she's got it tucked behind her ears. I don't, she, you know, I, she did that sweeping bang. You can even do like a, a little, I, mine is like a little smoother. You can really, you know, kind of just shape it by, I can tuck it behind the ear. You guys can see what that looks like. Nice. I, right? Yes. I mean, easy. I, I feel like the earrings, yes. like, make, <laughs> make it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, because I've look. got long hair. I'm used to my earrings getting lost, so I, I like it shorter. <laughs> Show them off. Helen, so watch this. I'm going to take Gianna's wig off because I want to put it back on my mannequin head. This is the free wig cap that you get. 
in your box. It's in a little Ziploc bag, so don't throw it out. And here's one bobby pin, two bobby pin, and her long hair, her mermaid hair is back. And that's all it was, was two bobby pins and that wig cap. And this was discretion. And listen, for those of you wondering if it's hot, if I just show you, my fingers go right through it. It's so lightweight. It's so breathable. And back to adjusting it, those are the tabs I was talking about. Right where your tag is, to the left and right of each side, you're going to see this little peel and stick tab sticks right there. The closer to the tag, the tighter the wig, the further you go out, the bigger the wig. So it's really simple to use. Don't overthink it. Get it home, shake it, and put it on. Thanks, love. All right, I just popped on the next style. So keep shopping, discretion is the wig, and there's the item number on your screen, a little bit longer. This honestly, uh, we're going on to, to our next uh, style. So laughter is the name of this style, and I popped on the wig in my favorite, that light gray color. I think that there's something like, this is to me is like the most glamorous. I. I used to wear my hair this short years ago in the mid 90s. As a matter of fact, on my Instagram page, I posted a picture of my headshot from 1992 and I know Martino laughed at it and commented on it. I'm the official Helen Keeney on Instagram. I'd love for you to like my page, but I did a, a picture, uh, my headshot and I love this, but here's what I didn't like about this haircut. Every two weeks, Martino, I had to get a new, I had to get my hair trimmed or it, it grew out. It looked completely yes. different haircut. And Honestly, it was very expensive to keep this hair, so I grew it out. It's way less expensive to have long hair that you throw up in a, a scrunchie, you know? But this is it's, so it, glamorous. It's, it's so true, and for the record, I did not make fun of your picture. I <laughs> love your picture. You loved it. Picture. You did heart it. You caught, you did, I didn't make but, fun of it, yes. <laughs> so, but to your point, so your hair grows a half inch a month, which is a quarter of an inch every two weeks, which is an eighth of an inch every week. So I can't tell you, doing hair for 25 years, how many women will say, it's only been two weeks, my roots are in. Yes, because it grows a quarter of an inch every two weeks. This is a family favorite around here. My mom, she's gonna be 83 this month. This is the one she wears. She loves it, she won't leave the house without it. I mean, it's just perfect. And when you talk about a short wig, there is no learning curve. There's nothing to do. You literally take it out of the box, you put it on your head, I did take a little bit of hairspray just to fluff this up a little bit, but I mean, anybody can do this. It takes no talent. They have done all the work for you. Again, 52 years. When Gabor started in 1969, did you know that in one year, they became the world's largest wig manufacturer worldwide? So I think they've got some experience under their belt. Oh, absolutely. And it's first of all, I just I can't I can't stop looking at the, myself in the monitor. I love this is this probably is my favorite look is the gray, right, Melinda? You like it's that gray, and then you've got you know like even like, I would do like a bright red lip, <laughs> like this I think is so glamorous, and it 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 is very it's it's completely on trend this color. Would it be easy for me to go and say to my stylist, hey, could you cut this and then do that color? First of all, my husband likes long hair, and I actually would have. My my hair way shorter but he this is a way for me to have that look when I when I want to and I think it's really really fun to mix it up and and if you've got thin fine hair every time you color it you're like oh my hair is so damaged I just want to I just want to grow it out get a wig protect your own hair right Martino isn't that a great way to protect your own hair is to get a wig absolutely this is the easiest shortcut you'll ever have and I tell everybody, if you love your hair, your hair is going to love you back. So when you wear a wig, you give your hair a break from the flat iron, the color, the bleach, the straightening treatments and all this other stuff. And you just give your hair that needed break so your hair could breathe a little bit and, and just take a break from our daily routine. Wigs are great also as an accessory. I mean, look at Francine. Her smile is brighter. Her smile is bigger. And I've seen that live before the pandemic when I would be in the studio, mm -hmm. you know, we would put a wig on Francine and she would light up like Times Square. And that's what you can expect too when you get at home because it literally gives you confidence. I mean, when a woman looks in the mirror, I know firsthand and she feels good about herself, everything changes, everything changes. Right, and this one is called laughter. That's the name of the style. 
I love Francine in this wig. Let me give you a tour. So I want to turn it around. I like this. This is kind of, I bring these forward, but you can actually tuck this behind the ear and wear them different ways. And it, it really goes close kind of to the nape of the neck. And, and this is where you'd be like this right here. If you had your hair cut like this, Every two weeks, you'd have to get this done. Every two or three weeks to get that kind of perfect blending, uh, that blended perfect cut. And see all the different colors. This is the light blonde. There's this light bright piece is popping out here with a dark, with a little darker color here. But it's all blended together. It's like if you went to your stylist and said, all right, I want little bright pieces in the front. I want a little bit of depth here. I want this, I want that. And then I want to trim, how much would that cost one time? You've got that perfect style every single time. I'm wearing the light gray. Do we have the light gray available in this color, Jared? Because I know it sells out every single time. Um, Melinda is wearing this style as well. This is like your go-to, your adorable, you know, shortcut, which is just really fun and flirty. She the looks black great. and the I mean, light gray are yeah. the most limited. The, that light gray it like goes so quickly, and the I think Melinda, are you wearing the black in the in the black? Yeah, so she does have the black. The, she's wearing it in the black, and then um, I have the light gray. And what color do you have on? Light brown. Okay, so Francine is wearing it in the light brown, and I am wearing it in the light gray. I am. You know, this is kind of like silver platinum, and it's so on trend. Are are. Are people still asking for this color, Martina, when they come in the studio? Every day, all day. Every day. <laughs> okay. And I thought of you, I thought of you today in the salon, and I actually told somebody about what you had said yesterday about, you know, stripping the hair and going from red to brown to blonde to gray and trying to do this over and over and over again. Your hair just can't take it. So if you want to change your color, this is your chance. You don't have to get something that's close to what you norm what you normally wear. This is your chance to step outside of your comfort zone and say, I always wondered what I looked like gray. I always wondered what I looked like red. I always wondered what I looked like if I was brown with blonde highlights. That's what I have here, the brown blonde. But this is your chance. This is your chance to just get a little bit of a spring in your step and uh, have that confidence. Right, and, you know, and the other thing is maybe you say, you know what, I'm gonna go natural. I'm gonna go to my natural gray. But as I yeah. stop getting my hair colored, there's like that in between where it may not look fabulous as you're slowly, grow it out, wear a wig, do that for a couple months. If you've got short hair like this in a couple months, it'll be all your natural hair and then see if you love it. I bet you, you end up wearing your wig when you go out because maybe, you st maybe you're not fantastic at styling your own hair. I will tell you that that is something that some women are great at, some, some aren't. Um, we don't have hair and makeup people helping us anymore since the pandemic. It's all gonna be us and moving forward, it's all gonna be us, we're doing it ourselves. It's something that I worked really hard to learn how to do to style my own hair but listen you if you don't do this for a living why why would you have to learn how to style your own hair just pop this on even just going you know to the hair salon and having like a set and the color maybe you don't want to take that time to do that maybe you, you say oh i wish i could put it off just one more week get a gabor wig this laughter is like that really kind of fun sassy but i think that there's a glamour to this one how would you describe this martino don't you, i feel like there's especially in the gray i feel like very glamorous in this it's definitely glamorous i mean it's met ball ready i mean that's you look like you're ready to walk the red carpet but you know just having that gray hair is just so poised it's just it's just a stunning statement right to have that beautiful silver polished bright hair it's a statement and um, it's very hard to maintain and for those of you that have natural gray hair you know how it can turn yellow with the gabor wigs the gray will never turn yellow the red will never fade, and the blonde will never turn brassy. Now, Melinda, she is a beautiful woman. She cha oh, she can hear me today. Okay, girlfriend, nice to see you. She um, changed her color, and she looks beautiful in this color. So to my point, you can get more than one color. I mean, this is just a chance for you to really use your hair as an accessory. Stop throwing it in a ponytail. Stop wearing hats. Stop wearing headbands because you don't feel good. I know for a fact. I've been doing hair since I'm 16. I'm going to be 45 next month. I'm sorry, 46. Ugh. And um, anyway, I just know women better than women know women. And I can tell you that when their hair looks good, 
they feel good. My grandmother always said that to me. So yeah. grandmoms are always right. <laughs> That's 100% true. You know, I, I think that it kind of like perks me up when I see this. I feel like it's so glamorous. And so it, honestly, you know, it makes me do, it makes me think I, I, maybe I should do my hair this color. Maybe I should cut <laughs> it off. Sure. It, it kind of, but you know, this is the easy way to do it and to maintain it. That's the other thing. Maybe you got a, a short haircut that you absolutely love, but you're like, you know what? I tried to keep up the styling of it. I try, you know what, I just don't have the height here. And then I get like my roots and my gray is sort of yellow sometimes. It's not as perfect as this. Get a wig, get a Gabor wig, $27.25. I'm gonna tell you something else. They are returnable. If you went to a wig store and bought a wig, I'm gonna give you the tour of laughter. This, this, you buy it at the wig store, the minute your money changes hands, you own this for forever. But not here at HSN. Here at HSN, you are able to return any wig you don't like. So if you get a wig and you don't love it, that's okay. You can return it. You can get your purchase price. But it's no problem. So this is one of the, I mean, there might be another place where you're allowed to return wigs, but I've never heard of it. That's the other Nothing thing that I makes, do you, right? Do you know of any places no, that you can return I don't a wig? Know of any. Because you Not have helped all. cancer survivors get wigs with your charity for a long, long time. And wigs can be very That's expensive right. too, right, Martino? Absolutely. You could spend, you could easily spend $5,000 on a wig and it not be heat friendly. That's the best. That's like what cracks me up. Like Gabor has made this heat friendly. I can literally take my forever year curl, put it on 320 degrees and curl. I can flat iron. And that, that is a gift because you get this home. This is your chance to make it fit you the way you want it to fit you. If the bangs are too long, you can cut them short. If you want more angles, you could take it to your hairdresser put it on your head, have him, him or her razor it towards your face. You just treat this like your own hair, own it, and just feel good about yourself. We, you know, we have a thing in the salon. When women come in the door, and there are probably a lot of them watching right now, but when they walk in and they're in a bad mood because their kid was running late or their husband didn't put his clothes away and they're just uh, exhausted, when they leave, they have a hair attitude. Purse over their shoulder, bye, mwah, see you next time. Like getting your hair done changes everything. Imagine having that feeling each and every day. <laughs> I just, I've just changed my <laughs> wig to the next, the next look here. So you take a look at this next style. Is that not gorgeous? Jared, what, what is this one Love called? It. Fidelity, fidelity. And, you know, I keep changing the, the, the color that I'm doing. Because I will tell you, I don't think I've ever had my hair this color. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? <laughs> it, it, it yeah, <laughs> you do like it? Oh, okay. So I, I think there's something, like this one is long and short at the same time. So you, it's, it's, yeah. it's a bob, but it's a short bob. Describe the, am I right about this one? Is that how you describe it, Martino? Yes, absolutely. This is like a, I call it a micro bob. So it's like that... That version of that Bedell Sassoon classic cut from the 70s, you've got that crop right here. You can see how it's stacked with that sexy fringe that goes off to the side, just the right amount of volume in the crown. All of these come with seven to 11 different shades within each wig, even if it's the gray, even if it's the black, everyone in between, seven to 11 shades. So you've got lots of nice layers. You've got that sculpted nape giving you that stack. You can make this asymmetrical if you want. I love this. This is a very beautiful haircut, very hard to maintain, always in the salon if you want it to look 100% all the time. Going to the back just to show you right under the occipital bone, yep, there you go. You can see that gorgeous stack. I mean, that is beautiful, perfection. And ladies, remember, wigs do not grow. So <laughs> your yes. hair will always look this good. You know, and you, I say you, that because when I... <laughs> That's okay, go ahead. No, 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 I was gonna say, that's fine. I laughed when you said that because I didn't even think of it to say that. Yeah, they don't it's grow, true. so you think, oh, I'm gonna get this style, I'm gonna get a picture from a magazine and I, I want this perfect bob. And then two weeks later, you've got like, meh. And by the way, hair does not grow perfectly evenly. It grows all different lengths all over, but this is gonna be that perfect hair style. And Martino, you can take this to your stylist, right? And if you want like the bangs trimmed or something, right? Absolutely, I encourage people to do it. And like, it's called bespoke, you know, tailor-made. 
make it for you. Put it on, go into your favorite hair salon, go to your favorite hairdresser and say, hey, this is what I'd like. I'd like a little bit of this, I'd like a little bit of that. And now you've customized something that's already fantastic. And the reason I said that wigs don't grow is because whenever a woman uh, on HSN, whether she's from New York, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, she comes to our New Jersey salon, She'll ask me to cut it if she wants more bangs and I'll cut her bangs for her. And she'll say, just a smidge more. And I'll say, you know, it's not gonna grow. And she'll go, oh, that's right, never mind. Cause you know, it's your own hair. You want your bangs a tad bit shorter so they're not bothering you in a week. But yeah, no, with these wigs, you're gonna love them. I mean, Fidelity is all over soft layers and you can have face framing. It's basically like a short page and, um, it's just, it crops down by the chin. It embraces your cheekbones. You could tuck it behind your ear and it's completely customizable. Mm. Francine has it tucked behind her ear right now, as you can see, and her own hair is blending in. And I just, the micro bob to me is, it's a staple in my industry. It'll never go out of style. And everyone, it's universally flattering. Everyone will look good in this. I don't care your face shape, you will love it. Yeah, I want to kind of do that with putting it behind my ear. Oh, I see, that's really cute. Yeah, like that. That looks really cute. <laughs> I love that. And you know, here's here's the thing. If this was your hairstyle, guess what you'd be doing? Blow dry, blow dry with a round brush to get that height. Oh, I gotta get that height. Smoothing it. Maybe you have curly hair and you need want to smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. And you're like, okay, how do I get it? So I get it like you get it just like how you want. You walk outside and then it's poof. <laughs> you know, if you have curly hair, it like right. curls right back. If you've got fine thin hair like mine, this height right here goes shrimp. <laughs> But this style will always look perfect. It's going to look just, I mean, it's going to look amazing. It's, you're going to have that perfect kind of high here, come under here. It's always going to be, you know, sleek. There isn't going to be like a flyaway hair, like out of place. It's always going to look amazing. Wow. Look, uh, Melinda, I really like you in this one. I, I think that's like really, that's really she pretty. She looks, I'll tell you what, this girl is hot to trot. She looks <laughs> good no matter what she puts on. Yeah, and you know, what's interesting is I think that you may not think, oh, okay, that style will look good. I mean, I'd love for you, even if you already have a Gabor wig, I would I would treat yourself to one of the other styles. You may not have something like this. Matter of fact, in the back, this may you may say, oh, I've never even had my hair that long. That that's long for me, because it's and the reason why you don't do that is because it's it's going to stick to your head and you're not going to have that volume at the crown. But guess what? If it's a wig, you will always have that volume at the crown. This will never be flat. I could even try to flatten never. it and make it. And guess what? It's going to go right back. <laughs> There's nothing I can even do to if this. You get, that's right. Even if you get rained on, even if you wash it, even if you sweat, even if you're in Florida, if you're in Arizona, New Jersey, humidity, it doesn't matter. There's no cuticle. It's perfect hair. Whatever shape you set it in, if you decide to curl it or flat iron it, it will stay that way until you put heat on it again. So I'm telling you, you if you get this and you curl it or you flat iron or you love it the way it is out of the box, which you probably will, nothing will change it until you put heat at 350. So imagine never having to do your hair again. Imagine just being able to wake up, shake and go. I mean, I don't know what could be better than that. No, I I mean, nothing. That's why these wigs are so popular here at HSN. And you know, the other thing I like is when you walk, if you walked into a wig store and looked around, I know for me, I'd be like, well, what is that? I don't know what that looks like. You know, can I, can I, can I put it on? Can I take it home? Can I wear it for a couple of weeks? They're going to be like, yeah, no. you can't even touch that. You point to what you want mm -hmm. and then you buy it. See, that's not how it works here at HSN. You're, you're getting this wig home. We're going to mail it to you. It comes like in like, it looks like a little shoe box and you open it up with beautiful beautifully wrapped and then you also get there's a little cap that you put on that's included with that's every right. single wig so there's nothing yeah. you need to buy so you put that on you put the wig on you know give it give it a take it out for a spin as we say see what your friends and family think you know your significant other see see how it, you go w throughout the world see how many compliments you get changing up your look so if you love it, you keep it. If you don't love it, you send it back. You're risking nothing. Here's Fidelity. Here's all the colors it comes in. The deepest, richest black. Lightening it up a little bit with the dark brown, medium brown. Remember, all of these have highlights. The light brown, then brown blonde. That's always popular. I think that's the one that I have on right now. Dark blonde, 
medium blonde. Medium blonde has a little bit of warmth to it. The light blonde is a little ashy. Then in the red family, light blonde has blonde highlights. Medium red has like auburn and dark red, uh, different colors in it. And then brown gray. And then of course that light gray, which is that gorgeous color. Very, very difficult to have that done in real life. If you've got like brown hair to go to that silver platinum color, it's, it's a lot of processing, right, Martino? Absolutely. And it's a lot of processing, a lot of money, and it's a lot on your hair. And then wait six weeks when your roots are three quarters of an inch long. You got to do it all over again. And it's just, you know, listen, it, it's good for some people, but I got to tell you, your hair doesn't like it. I mean, I always try to talk people out of stripping their hair to go silver. You want to grow it out, take your time and grow it out and let nature do its thing. By all means, go ahead. But to your point, Helen, when you're six months into it and your roots are down to here, you like don't want to be seen in public. This is a great opportunity to pick up the light gray if you're one of those women that are growing your color out. It's that that just gets you through that transition without skipping a beat. Helen, I'm really liking you in this wig, I gotta tell you. Do you know, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never uh, done a wig in this color and I've never had my hair in this color before. And I, I, really, I really like it too. And I've had a bob like here with bangs and a bob. I've had that before, but I've never had this before. I, I really like it too. Are you wearing the brown blonde? Are you wearing the brown blonde? Yes. You know what? Maybe backstage, maybe they could tell me exactly. I don't want to get that wrong. Jared, could you have them tell me exactly what color this is? They just gave it to me. I believe it's brown blonde. I believe that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, and you know what's so nice about it? The blonde's not brassy at all. It's right. very soft, but really dimensional. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it, too. As a matter of fact, let's kind of walk over here, and uh, we t I'll show you where the brown blonde is that is right here. Does this look like what I'm wearing, this color? Yes. Dark, yep. and that's dark the one blonde. I have in front of me too. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, it's dark blonde. So here is light blonde, medium blonde, and dark blonde. So it's this one right here, dark blonde. So this okay. is the one I have on, very close to the brown blonde, but ha has a little bit more warmth to it. And this is a little ashier. So this is the one I'm wearing. It's called dark blonde. So light blonde, medium blonde has like a little, this is a warm blonde, this is more ashy blonde. Then th this is the one I'm wearing is dark blonde and then brown blonde. And then this one is called brown, um, light brown. And then this one is called medium brown. This is medium brown. And then down here, we've got uh, black, dark brown, and then the two reds, which is medium red and light red. Light red has a lot of blonde in it. The medium red has a lot of auburn in it, but really a true red, I would go with a medium red. And then um, we've got brown gray, which is this one. And then this one is the light gray, which I know the light gray has been very, very popular. Look at that light gray. I believe that this is the wig that the, is the style that I'm wearing is what the color samples are. We've just got another minute and a half. This one is called La Fidelity. So we showed you discretion. We showed you laughter. And this one is Fidelity. We just have two more styles. And I think it's really fun. You know, you could even pick up a couple of styles. If you're if you're kind of between two of them, pick them, pick them up both. With Flex pay so affordable at $27.25. And then when you get it home, try them both on and keep the one that's your favorite. It's a, you know, you can shop in, in the privacy of your own home, try it on. See, you may decide you want to keep both of them at this price. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's very, very affordable. And you may say, $109, Helen, how are you saying that's affordable? Well, how much is it to color and cut your hair one time? How much of this, if you go to a wig store, wigs can be $5,000, $20,000. I mean, some of the celebrities of, you know, music stars, Martino, they, their wigs can be a, a, like a way up, like a fortune, right? Listen, all I can tell you is this. Every time you see someone change their color, trust me, they're not sitting in the salon for six hours frying their hair. Almost every celebrity I know wears wigs at one time or another. And even during the shutdown and during the pandemic, so many people that never wore wigs took a chance and said, okay, this is new to me, but let me try it. And it wound up saving their you-know-what because everybody was Zooming, everybody was FaceTiming, everybody was doing everything tech, right? You had a meeting, even you and I, you know, we had to talk to producers or our, you know, the people that let us go on air. We had to do it through Skype or through Zoom. So 
we weren't going to the salon. So how did we look good? Well, not me, but how did all the women look good? With the wigs, you know? So it's just, it saved a lot of people. And now it put it made them have a new comfort zone where they can wake up on a Sunday morning and not feel like they have to do their hair. They can put that free wig cap on that comes with it, complimentary, put shake your wig and go. These are not wigs like my grandmother used to wear. You gotta remember, this is 52 years of research and development, innovation, making it lighter, making it not hot, making it more comfortable, making it breathable, and making a style that lasts. Well, oh, Martino, I've popped okay. on the next week. We've only got two more. <laughs> this is my first time like doing like, a, I said, let's, I, let's do something like really dark. Like I wanna see my natural, my natural hair color is actually lighter than this. Uh, my natural hair color is like medium brown, but this is like going dark, dark, dark. And this is called Pixie. Okay. Let me tell you, Pixie, you remind me of one of the se most sexiest <laughs> old time Hollywood actresses. She had purple eyes is your only clue. Yes, I did. Violet, I know exactly who you're talking about and thank you very much. <laughs> She, um, I'm her biggest fan, let me tell you, her biggest fan. You look just like her now. So there's something like really mesmerizing about going in a dramatic way with your hair. So when you get pixie, let me, let me turn around and give you a whole tour. Uh, I love the way this is kind of very sexy, fun and flirty. Um, it's short like laughter is, but it has a lot more hair in the back and it has like kind of like a little bit of a wave to it. You can see um, it's close to the nape of your neck here, but it's got a, a lot, lot more fun, sexy, flirty a look to it. So if you want something that has like a, you know, a shorter haircut but, and, and glamorous, but you want like a little bit, a little bit longer in, in the back and the sides than laughter, then this is the one for you. This one is called Pixie and I'm wearing it. I believe this is the dark, dark brown, dark brown. Yes, it is dark brown. I was gonna say, this is the second to the darkest color that we do. This is the one right before black, which is jet black. It's called Pixie This and I think that if you go short like this, g pick a dramatic color. Pick, you know, go, go, go with the red, go with the dark, dark color. If you have dark hair, go with blonde. If you have blonde hair, go with dark. Go, get the, you know what? The gray in this would look, I think, fantastic. I like the way that people are kind of walking around the set and looking at me like, who is that? It kind of, it's kind of fun to, to kind of change things up and do something completely different. And I love the, if you have commitment issues, wigs are the best thing in the world. Because you don't have to, if you've got long hair and you're like, oh, I, I'd love to cut it, you cut it and the next day I'm like, all right, I'm gonna spend the next seven years growing it out. Just try a wig first. It's a great way to try a new color. It's a great way to try a new cut. It's a great way to save money and not have to get your hair colored. But it's also a way to kind of like, you know when we, we dress up? I remember growing up, my grandmother had one watch. She had one watch her entire life. Uh, watches now, I've got like a whole wardrobe of watches. I feel like the future with hair is gonna be like that. You're, you're gonna see Absolutely. women, right? Don't you think so, Martino? I'm even they, I'm seeing this on now. TV. Yes. I'm seeing it more and more with just like, just like everyday people like myself. Like I wanna change it up, right? People hang them on hangers in their closet. It's an accessory now. You change your shoes, you change your earrings, you change your purse. Now you can change your hair at the snap of the finger. Side note, pixie this, picture this. You Cleopatra Halloween. I'll be Ramses, you be Cleopatra. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, all right, okay. I'm in, you know, one of my favorite TV shows called, um, I'm gonna say the name of it, it's like Blank Creek, and it's about a very wealthy yep. family that leave, that loses everything and starts over in a small town. And the, the mom is this, uh, you know, glamorous, you know, kind of movie star. And she has wigs that she keeps in the closet and she names each one of them like they're her yes. children. Like she will That's... run into a fire to save her children, her wigs, rather than her real children, which she kind of ignores. It's a very, very I funny show, it. right? So I that... definitely believe it. <laughs> So I think that this, I mean, so that to me is an example. When you're seeing it in TV shows, you're seeing it out there. W women are changing their Everywhere. hair like this, like you're wearing different watches. Like we used to only have one watch. That'd be a nice watch. We get that nice watch you graduate from college, you wear it your entire life. This the hair, and things are changing. You can mix it up. And, and, and by the way, if you're in your 20s, 
Absolutely. If you're in your 30s, this isn't this isn't for a particular age group, right, Martino? I think young gals are Not doing this all. too. A hundred percent. I even have clients that spend a fortune on their hair that still buy the Gabor wig because there's times that they wake up and they and to go to the grocery store, to go to church or whatever, and they just don't feel like spending the time on their hair and they just want it for convenience. And that's what you get with this Gabor Essential Collection, instant gratification. Who doesn't like that? I know I do. <laughs> right. And this one is called the Pixie and I'm going to give it a little spin here. I'm wearing it in the dark brown. So you've got like uh, a lot. I love the back when you see all these different colors, the quality of the wig. You know, Martino, I know we on our show yesterday that we did, you were talking about why the Gabor wigs look like real hair. There's something about the way that they're colored. Uh, like it, like yes. you could spot a wig a mile away if it has, what, what were you saying yesterday? If it's a solid color, like, like wigs that are made poorly are one color. So it's like, paint it's like shoe polish it's just like it's one color and i mean i could, literally i go to church every sunday i could pick them out i mean i get distracted with my add i'm like oh that's a wig mm, that's a wig you know <laughs> you just pick them right. out but when you have seven to eleven different shades creating that depth and that dimension and this that wow factor it really makes it hard even for an expert to pick out of a crowd. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got our final five minutes of this wig, and then we only have one more style in the show. So we had discretion, and that which was a longer, uh, and then we had laughter, which was a sh the shortest of uh, the shortest of the styles were laughter. So I want to turn it around and show you the difference between the one we're showing you now. Laughter is, was a lot shorter and ha didn't have like kind of the curl and kind of fluffiness and spikiness of the one we're doing now, which is pixie. And then we had fidelity, which was like a short, short bob. So you see the difference um, and you tell us which one you like. You know, a lot of times uh, you guys watch the whole show and then pick which one is your favorite style. I think Pixie, when all is said and done, I think will be a favorite because I think it's flirty and sexy, but I think it's also a difficult style if you're home styling it yourself. It looks very fun and fresh and flirty, but if that was your own hair, Martino, isn't this a lot of effort to create this look? Tell us what you'd have to do. Short hair. Well, short hair is always more work to do yourself. So when you look at Melinda, look at all the texture in the layers. You have to blow it out, either set it in big rollers or use a big curling iron, let it cool down, then brush it out, and then pray to God that you have nice weather so that it stays. <laughs> but not with this, not with the Gabor <laughs> collection because their custom fiber, it's called Excel. And that Excel fiber doesn't have a cuticle. So once it's styled, Nothing can get rid of that style. No elements outside, not water, not washing it. The only thing that can change it is heat at 350 degrees. So unless you're baking a pie, nothing's going to change the style of your hair, okay? So I know it's hard to wrap your head around it, but trust me, once it's set, it's done until you put heat on it again. It's going to be a game changer for a lot of women. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, I just, I, you caught me like looking at myself. We have monitors here <laughs> and I never look at myself. I'm always looking at you guys, but I'm like, who? Oh, that's me. It's like, there's something, I, you know, that dark hair, which is like very, um, it, it's very like old Hollywood glamour, that kind of, I just, I really, I really, I really like it. And this is actually darker than my natural color. And I think it makes like my skin tone looks, it, it looks kind of like a, my complexion look really nice. That kind of dark against the really pale skin. It's just, you know, it's, it's interesting how you might do a different color lipstick when your hair color changes, change your makeup yes, a little bit, yes. change how you dress a little bit, change the kind of 100%. earrings that you wear. Yeah. Helen, you looked good in every single wig you had on. So you looked like you were ready to go like to a wedding or go out to a fancy dinner. Like no matter what wig you put on, you looked great. Different colors, different lengths, different styles. You just look polished. And that's what everybody looks like because it's so hard for you to be able to do your own hair. And I know that because we deal with like over 900 women a week at our salon. And the biggest complaint women have is they just have a hard time doing their own hair. Yes, I make tools that try to make it easier for them, but I will tell you, there's nothing easier than getting up at six o'clock in the morning when it's time to run to the grocery store or wherever you have to go early in the morning. Even if it's just taking your kids to the bus stop or your grandkids to the bus stop, you throw that wig on and you have instant gratification, instant confidence, and that 
is what sets the Gabor Essential Collection apart from everything else. I love it. You know, I also want to tell you how easy it is. So what's going to happen is the the box is going to come to your house. It looks kind of like a shoe box. You're going to open it up and there's this pretty paper and you open it up. There's a little cap. You put the cap on your head, you take the wig out, and you give it a shake. And Martino, this is your instructions. Why do you instruct yes. everybody to give it a shake before you put the wig on for the first time? So it's been in a hairnet, in that box, wrapped in that pretty paper, in the mail, mailman's taking it, UPS, whatever. So when you get it, you need to bring it to life, right? You need to, when you shake it, it opens everything up, you know? It's like we had a butterfly release uh, Memorial Day weekend at my house. And you're supposed to take the butterflies and leave them room temperature for an hour, give the box a little shake to wake them up, and you open it up, and then you get to release them into your garden. Well, it was chilly out. These things didn't want to wake up. So the good news is with your wig, it will wake up. You literally just, when you take them, I'll show you. When you take them and you shake them, all those fibers just come to life that have been in that box, in the mail truck, when you shake it, they just come to life. The more you shake it, the more volume you get. And you just gotta give it a shake. And if you have a tiny head or really fine hair, you can make it tighter by bringing these tabs closer to the tag. And if you have thick hair or a bigger head, you just open them mm. and bring them away. So it's fully adjustable and fully breathable. Thank you for that, Helen. Yeah, I'm just showing those tabs that Martino is talking about. So if you have a smaller head, you make it like this. If you have a larger head, you could open them up. They're completely customizable. And there's a little tab on each side. The tag goes in the back. And then and then also, this is breathable. So I put my hand through here. So I'm in the hot lights here, you're very, very cool. So it's one of those, one of those wigs that's like really cool all year round. So let me pop this back on. All right, Callie is standing by. We've got a brand new Today Special launching in about 15 minutes. And Callie's gonna tell you all about it. I just first have to say you inspire me so much, Helen. You look awesome. Martino is right, you look great in every single one of those colors and styles. Uh, we're so excited about Midnight. We are launching the first ever Brittany Humble Today Special. Oh my gosh, the story on this gal, we found her from the big find at HSN. She is a personal stylist and a fashion designer that you're gonna fall in love with. And we have the most awesome dress. You guys, it's under $35, I can't believe it. You'll live in this. We have some beautiful colors. I love the boat neck, but you can also wear it off one shoulder, so really kind of jazz it up a little bit. We have beautiful colors. Note that there are pockets. Oh, and one more thing, we have extra, extra small through 5X. We have petite and average lengths. I mean, look at this, all these colors from the dusty violet to the olive, I'm wearing the rosewood. We have the navy, there's gray and of course black. You guys are going to love what we've got to share with you. Two hours of Brittany Humble, first time ever coming up at midnight. Thanks Helen, I'll see y'all soon. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. By the way, Kelly, I should mention that the top I'm wearing is from Brittany Humble. So uh, I, I'm a huge fan and this is, I'd seen the fashions and this is the, I, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's so gorgeous. It's like a one shoulder design and it is so comfortable and you've got like this kind of like real ease, ease to it. And it's very, very fr figure flattering. So definitely I'll be tuning in at midnight to watch Callie and uh, Brittany Hummel. I'm wearing her right now, so love it. All right, I, all right, now this is the brown gray. So I just put this on and I'm kind of giving, and, and, and you know what, I want to make this kind of like fun and flirty like I, I love it when you go like this it just it just stays so this is really cool so we're gonna jump in this is by the way my very last style in the show this is called gratitude and gratitude is longer than pixie we just did the pixie and and this is uh a little bit longer, let me give you like a little tour. So you've got bangs in the front, and by the way, if you're saying these are a little bit too long for me, you could have your stylist trim them. Please don't try doing it yourself. I know that because I tried cutting Amen. my... <laughs> right, Martino, I can't tell you how many yeah. times I cut my own bangs and it was a mistake, but they you, grew back. You and Amy both, yes. you and Amy both. They, it grew back, but this is not gonna grow back because it's a wig, so that's why I said, please take it to your stylist. <laughs> um, and then in the back, you see how it's longer and you're like, oh, that's really cute. I I wish it would stay that way. It stays this way. 
This is that right. fun, wispy, I mean, you can even uh, t take a little hairspray to it and get it, like, kind of fluff it up more, however you want. Like this one, you know, you shake it out and it comes to life. This is like, I, you know, I, I'm, every time I put a new one on, Martina, I'm like, oh no, this one I like the best. That, that's the, the kind of show I, I, it is. I had the, for sure, I had to bite my tongue because this is my favorite one we've had tonight. And I couldn't say it earlier because then everybody like, wait, what do you mean it's your favorite? But it is my favorite. And I think it's my favorite because so many women have come to me over the last 25 years and wanted this haircut. This is the Lisa Renna haircut that everybody loves. I mean, I have this one client, I've been probably cutting her for 20 years. She brings the same picture in every single time, folded up, wrinkled up, crumpled up. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I know what you want. And this is just a fun haircut. It's flattering for everybody. It's beautiful, it's stunning. I'm showing it to you in the dark blonde, um, but it's just a fantastic, fun, flirty, again, give you that boost of confidence, spring in your step, instant gratification, coming from 52 years of innovation from Eva Gabor and Hair You Wear, started in 1969, and in one year became the world's largest wig manufacturer. Yeah, the world's largest, and you know, if Here's the thing about this hairstyle. Honestly, Martino, I could never have this hairstyle. I have very fine, thin hair, and the place where my hair is the thinnest is in the front. And this yeah. hairstyle, you have to have a lot of hair right in the front. And I, I just don't have as much hair there. I, even if I wanted to, even if it was a stylist coloring, cutting, even for five minutes, I couldn't have this hairstyle. I don't have the hair for this, but I do with a Gabor wig. Most women don't have the hair for it, you know, and Melinda looks stunning as well. And she's got both sides tucked behind her ear. And I keep speaking to that because you know a wig is made well when you can tuck it and not see the construction of the wig. Ladies, this is everyday beauty for today's women. If I could sum this up in, a, in, in one summary, that's what I would say. Everyday beauty for today's women. And you are today's women and you're beautiful. And this is just something to add to your repertoire of keeping you looking and feeling your best. Helen, you're getting better by the minute, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will tell you that everybody just jumped on the line to get this one. I know it's your favorite. It, it is, it definitely is. No, no, it's got that sexiness to it, but see all the hair in the front? Even if I, I couldn't even get my hair cut like this. I've got more hair back here than I do up here. And th listen, I wish it was the other way around, but that's the way it is with my hair. I couldn't have this kind of, you know, kind of look right here that this is the one I'm wearing right now. Like I could never get this look. If you cut my hair like this, these would be so fine right here. It wouldn't look thick enough. I mean, I have to tease and spray and I wear it longer just, just because I don't have that much hair up here. Uh, with this, look at her part. Look how well, thick her hair looks, Martino, in this wig. So, uh, so to your point, Helen, if you look at Francine right now, her before is thinner in the front as well. So she wouldn't be able to have it either, and neither would I. So it's a fact <laughs> of life. As we get older, the minimalization process starts to kick in, and we all have thinner hair in the front and much thicker hair in the back. And if I had a dollar for every time a woman said, why can't my hair be as thick on top as it is in the back, I would have yeah. four cars in my driveway instead of two <laughs> because that's how many women say it but you don't have to worry about it and that's something that I kind of struggle with trying to teach women that this is not your hair it is your hair because you bought it but stop comparing your hair to the wig because the problems you have with your hair you're not going to have with the wig anymore so just take everything you thought about your hair throw it out the window get this home shake it Throw it on your head and you are glamorous and you are ready to face the world. This, again, is my favorite one. Yeah, I, I was going to say your favorite and a lot of a lot of you at home are saying yes to it. There's the there's the color chart. I will show you the colors here live and go through the colors one more time. We have a variety. And Jared, let me know if we're limited on any of these colors because I know that some of the styles... Um, starting out with the top row with the light blonde. So this is that light blonde, kind of like that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kind of glow to it. And then next to it is medium blonde. Medium blonde is a little bit warmer than the light blonde. And then dark blonde is a little bit ashier still. So you've got brown and blonde together. This one, 
dark blonde, I only have 30 wigs left. This is very limited, it's a very popular color. In the brown blonde, it's just like this color, only a little bit darker. You see that it's dominant in the brown and with just like a little blonde highlights. And next to that is light brown. Light brown and the next one, medium brown, have Light, kind of a, like a little bit of warm highlights in them and this is more deep chestnut in the medium brown and the light brown has like a little bit of lighter red in it kind of like a hue so going down in front there this is the darkest of the dark we've got black and then this is dark brown and then this is black. In black, I only have 50 left. So there's only 50 orders. If you want black, you got to jump on the phone right now. So dark brown, black the darkest, and then we've got our two reds. This one is called medium red, and this one is called light red. There's only 50 left in the medium red. In, in, in the light red, I only have 60. So again, red, always very, very popular. And then we've got the two grays, the brown gray, which is what I'm wearing. So you can see it on me, this is brown gray. And then we've got the light gray, which is that, oh, it's now sold out. So the one I'm wearing just sold out. So then the light gray is like that 20 left. I know it's always very popular, the light gray. So the yes. one I'm wearing sold out. This one, there's only 20 left. So la last call Woo. on that. I know, it's going. they're going very quickly. Melinda, I love you in this one too. This is a very sexy, too. flirty, fun. It's still short hair, but it has like that kind of sexiness. Uh, and I, I think, and you know what? This, this is a cut, Martino, that's never gonna go out of style, right? Ever, never, ever, and it's it's an intense haircut. There's a lot of texture, a lot of razoring, a lot of point cutting. There's a lot of work to make natural hair look like Melinda looks right now, but she looks, I, I sound like a broken record. She looks stunning. She looks beautiful. She looks like, again, ready to face the world, ready to conquer it all. And my grandmother always said, when my hair looks good, I feel good and I can sleep tonight confident knowing there's a lot of women that are going to look good and feel good. Melinda, you look beautiful, my love. You are welcome. <laughs> it's great. And, and you know what? I see Melinda's natural uh, hair. She's got longer hair. Maybe she wants to go with a short haircut. Maybe she's not sure. This is a great way to look fabulous all the time. We are at the end of our show. Martino, thank you so much. So fun. These my are all pleasure. great styles. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mwah. Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Martino. All right, everybody. I'm, it was so fun filling in for Amy on the Beauty Report and doing this Gabor wig show. Stay tuned. My good friend Callie, who's got this sexy haircut, is coming up at midnight with a brand new today's special from Brittany Humble. I am wearing one of her designs right now. So stay tuned and keep shopping here live at HSN. I can't wait to see all the colors that dress comes in. Coming up next, and don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm the official Helen Keeney on Instagram and Helen Keeney HSN on Facebook. Summer days are here and it's time to show off your style with new looks from your favorite fashion brands, gemstone jewelry and stylish sandals, all for wherever the summer takes you. Don't miss our show off your style event starting tonight at midnight. Love watching HSN? Then take us with you in the HSN app. Everything on your TV is streaming live on your phone. Anytime, any place, we're always with you. Download the iPhone or Android app today. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. I'm Bethany Frankel. I'm a busy mom, entrepreneur, author. Well, I do believe the food should not only be healthy, but taste delicious, which is why I've developed Skinny Girl Eats. Skinny Girl lets you enjoy the happy moments without the guilt. Corez was born in the oldest homeopathic pharmacy in Athens, Greece. We bring you the natural beauty of Greece to your fingertips, delivering innovative, effective formulas that are powerful and keep in mind the importance of natural ingredients. 
by partnering with over a thousand different farmers to bring you high quality ingredients to unlock the best of nature and science, bringing you results that you can see and feel. We're making bigger, even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. Welcome to HSN. It's midnight on this coast. That means we are starting a brand new day. I'm Callie Northagen. We are going to help you set yourself up for the best style of the summer. We have the very first ever today special from Brittany Humble. We found her during the big find here at HSN. She has come a long way, baby, and she is so excited tonight. It started with crocheting her first hat 15 years ago to now tonight. Not only did we launch her line here at HSN last October, Tonight, we are introducing you to the very first ever today's special. It is gonna be the dress you'll live in all summer long. It is under 